Hi Taurus, welcome to your general forecast for the end of March. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Taurus is going to take a look at the energy around you at this time. And we're going to take whatever comes out. So it could be love, it could be general, work, career, finance, whatever it takes. We're going to take it as it comes. So please only take what resonates and throw away the rest. Please don't try to make it fit. If it's not resonating for you, it's not your reading. And don't leave me a ton of, a ton of comments that... It, um, that it's false or whatever, because I'll just delete them. But anyway, um, it could be past, present, or future. Or maybe it could be some something else or a situation around you that could be affecting you if it's not about you also. So please keep that in mind. And, and this can be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. <coughs> Sorry, I did have the flu a few weeks ago, and now I have uh, a little bit of congestion and coughing that I can't seem to get rid of. Other than that, I'm fine. So... I'm just going to apologize in advance for any coughing, so please bear with me, and any negative comments will be deleted. So anyway, this can be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter, and male or female uh, can be watching this. Uh, so let's see what we have for you, Taurus, at this time. So I do say at this time, I consider my readings timeless. If you'd like to go and watch past readings, Links are below to your general and love playlist along with the decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading. If you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift, all that information is below in the description box as well as the pinned top comment. And if you're not comfortable, if you like to give an energy exchange tip donation, you're not comfortable doing so through PayPal, during the premiere only, um, Super Chat is open and available for tips and donations or energy exchanges. And if you do, thank you. Okay, Taurus. Let's see what's going on. This is a Zodiac Oracle, so we get a sign, element, or planet. If you don't resonate with that, that is totally fine, whatever comes out here. So we have Neptune. Neptune energy, which I believe is Pisces energy. Yes, Pisces. So you can be dealing with a Pisces. If not, uh, someone rising Venus or Jupiter. Uh, maybe you have Pisces in your chart, or it could be just the energy of Neptune, which is about... Um, imagination, compassion, psychic experiences, and balancing energies, and emotional, physical balance, also spiritual balance. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. So with this deck here, I'm going to get an opening message for you, and then I'll get another card for your energy at this time, and then we'll clarify that energy with the tarot, look at the actual situation, and then we'll do advice and outcome. And then we'll get some extra messages with the Healing Fairies. And then I have these new cards. Actually, I purchased them at the Dollar Tree. There were two sets of prayer cards. I mixed them together. And I thought it'd be fun at the end of the reading to give you a little prayer or an affirmation, however you like to call it, at the end of the reading. All right. So let's get for you, Taurus, an opening message for Taurus at this time. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. So we have the Seven of Michael here. It's the Seven of Swords. There is a better course of action available to you. Working alone may not be the best answer. Review all the details. So the Seven of Swords here sometimes can be about um, negativity, deceit, lies, theft, that kind of energy, or somebody kind of sneaking away or out of a situation um, or something like that. So we'll see. But it does say better course of action available to you. So, and working alone may, may not be the best. Review all the details. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. You Taurus. So what is the energy for Taurus at this time, Spirit, please? Wow. Okay. <clears throat> I went flying. So now we have the Six of Michael. Six of Swords. So now we have the Six and the Seven. So whatever here was going on, and it could have been some negative energy, some lies, deceit, or something like that, or are you just deciding here that there's a better course of action? And so now, taking that action with the Six of Swords, it's the light at the end of the tunnel. Breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans. Revolution, uh, relocation, and maybe it is a revolution. Relocation or travel. So this is about going into a better place, a more healing, calm, peaceful place, leaving all the BS behind. So it could be you kind of just got out of a situation or something here and said, you know what, I'm ready to go to a better place. Could have been negative energy here. 
So let's see. With, you know, and maybe, you know, with Neptune there about balancing, so maybe, you know, the Six of Michael to me is always going to a more healing, balanced, calm, peaceful place. So I feel like you're going into that energy now and something here you just had to get out of. So we have the Five of Ariel. You need to go through your current challenges alone. Help is nearby. Negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecies. So this is the Five of Pentacles. Could have been a work situation, um, a career or something like that. So that's about abandonment, you know, and uh, feeling lonely, left out in the cold, neglect kind of energy. Um, or it could be material lack or monetary lack. So there could have been something going on in your work environment with finances or something like that. Maybe somebody was, I don't know, doing something with the finances or something like that. Or maybe you saw a lot of activity going on and you're like, you know what? I'm not privy to this kind of behavior. And maybe you decided to get out. Or something like that so I don't know maybe, maybe somebody was stealing money maybe somebody was fudging the books or something like that or not being honest and you decided nope <laughs> I don't want to be around this energy and decided to leave take action and leave and go to a better place so let's clarify this energy for you Taurus I just want to say thank you to everybody who supported me in the channel in any way. If you have, uh, in honor of reaching 10,000 subscribers, I am having a giveaway. If you are interested in that, please check the description box and the pinned top uh, comment on how to enter. It is open through March. You can have a chance to win a tarot deck along with a free 20 minute reading, 20 minute reading by me of your choice. So uh, check it out, and if you enter, good luck to you. So let's get some more uh, cards here to clarify this energy. No, it's way too many for you, Taurus. Okay, so we have the Hermit. So this is something you had to think long and hard about in the King of Cups. So it could have been something you had deep uh, emotions and feelings about knowing something wasn't right here. I feel like it, it affected you like, I don't want to say emotionally, but like <coughs> you knew deep down in your heart that the situation wasn't good. So I think you thought about it and you got in your ship here and you sailed the Karma Waters. Page of Pentacles. So you actually could have had a new offer come in here. Eight of Wands. So t taking up, taking action. Again, I had said that the Six of Michael, Six of Air is about going to a safer place and taking action. Here's the Eight of Wands about action, travel, communication. Queen of Swords. So yes, yeah, same truth, clarity of the matter here. Queen, King, Queen of Swords kind of energy or Ace of Swords always reminds me of divine energy. It's just an energy of clear thinking, uh, truth and clarity, telling it like it is, and cutting away things not serving. Sometimes, you know, the king or queen of swords can be somebody uh, in the legal field or um, professional advisor or something like that. So I don't know if some of you had to seek out like a lawyer or an advisor or something like that. Somebody took action here. There was some sort of communication here. Could have been about, um, you know, money or something like that. Five and one. So it caused a conflict here. A lot of conflict, arguing kind of energy. So I do see fighting, arguing. But somebody taking action here. Some of you could have actually left and found another job, another offer came in, or there was talk here about finances, something with the finances, wherever you were. <coughs> and you saw with truth and clarity what was going on. You thought about it, decided to take action, and 
you knew deep, deep in your heart it was the right thing to do with the King of Cups kind of energy. But it ca did cause a lot of conflict here. A lot of conflict for some of you. For some of you, um, you probably just felt like you needed to leave a situation. Could have been a work situation. And maybe, you know, another offer came in, so you decided to jump on it. Maybe it caused conflict. You know, what the situation you left behind, the job you left behind, or the career. You know, maybe caused a lot of conflict because you left. All right, so... What else for your actual situation for you, Taurus? So we have the Emperor. So this can be um, somebody takes the lead, control, charge. It can be a boss. It can be a business owner, entrepreneur kind of energy. You might have got an offer somebody who owned, from somebody who owns their own business. Maybe it's like a small little business and this opportunity. Maybe somebody just out of the blue reached out and you're like, hey, you know what? I think I'm going to take this offer because now you're much more balanced with the justice card. It's like all of a sudden this justice just came into you. And I did speak for some of you. If you did have to get legal counsel advice or professional help in that matter, this could be the justice actually here um, coming in in that area. But this is moving forward uh, with drive, passion, ambition going after it. So some of you here, I feel like, you know, maybe you had a friend or an acquaintance that owned their own business and some, for some of you, they could have just reached out or something like that. And now it's like, wow, it's like justice served to me after all the BS I just went through. And now I'm moving forward passionately in a new, new job or a new career here. Or some of you, you know, took the lead troll charge of the situation. You saw what was going on here. Somehow, maybe legal, uh, legalities had to get involved. Very passionate about this, knowing it wasn't right. So, different storyline. So, however, um, it resonates for you. So, let's get a few more here. Eight of Swords. So, mental trapment trapped in your head about this you know was it the right thing I did should I have done this should I have left should I you know have said anything however uh the situation is for you so let's get one more for your situation and here we go again with the balance so we got two cards of balance justice and the six of pentacles to me is always like the minor of justice so definitely whatever you did here was the right thing to do you took action Feeling very fiery, passionate about it. Took control. Maybe justice had to get in. I don't know here. Feeling a little trapped. Oh, I don't know if I did the right thing. But then balance again. So just know whatever you did was the right thing to do. If for some of you it was a new job opportunity, you were much more balanced now. And maybe you were stuck in your head whether or not to accept this. But right in the middle of your spread is moving forward uh, with a lot of driving ambition and passion. A go-getter kind of energy. So let's see what the advice is. So different scenarios, I guess, here. It's a very uh, mixed bag. So this may or may not resonate with everyone. Please keep that in mind. Just take what resonates for you. But definitely somebody here leaving something behind. There was some sort of toxic situation going on or energy. Finally, finally deciding to leave that or some finally deciding to confront the situation, which maybe had to get legal um, matters involved, but things ultimately balancing out, going in a better direction, going in your favor or, you know, in the right direction. Or some of you had somebody reach out who maybe owns their own business with a new opportunity for you, which you might've felt stuck about accepting, but ultimately you did, you will, or you did, which will bring you better, uh, balance. All right. So let's see. Either way, you're going to a much better place than where you where you were. All right, so what is the advice here for Taurus? For Taurus? For Taurus, please, advice. The Empress. So we got two cards here, the Emperor and the Empress. So maybe somebody even asked you to be, hey, um, almost like partners, or maybe this was an idea, you and a friend, to go partners into something or something like that. We have a matching couple here, Empress and, and Emperor, Emperor and Empress. So 
definitely confirming here. Uh, taking control of the situation. The breath is something new. Knowing your value and your worth. Queen of Pentacles. Wow. So somebody here could now be an entrepreneur or working for somebody who is an entrepreneur. And now being very stable and grounded. Having abundance. Wow. Okay. Smart. Practical. All right. What else? king of swords so i believe we had we have the queen we had the queen of swords there and now we got the king so we have like two power couples here again divine energy truth clarity cutting away things not serving open honest truthful communication this is your advice so let me get one more for your advice Ten of Pentacles. Wow. So just to know here, I think Divine wants you to know that whatever you're stepping into is going to lead you to your Divine Emperor, Empress power, being success, successful and abundant, making your coin, a smart, practical kind of energy, having truth and clarity, all the way to the Ten of Pentacles of total growth and abundance for the long term, a legacy of a family dynamic for generations, totally abundant for the long term wow so whatever you left behind here was meant to be because you have all this great energy coming in for you Taurus so let's see what the outcome is three of cups so celebrating going out having a good time celebrating here all the success I feel like celebrating success that's what I'm getting finally like celebrating success Six of, <laughs> success, six of wands. Celebrating success. That's why Spirit had me say it. Success, success and victory with the six of wands over an offer that came in here. And now be very victorious. Celebrating that. What else for your possible outcome here for Taurus? Just one more. One more. Okay. King of Pentacles now. Wow. Holy crap. So whatever you were th went through here, I feel like was not a good energy, especially with the Seven of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. <sighs> yeah. So, and it really caused you to retreat, go within here. So either some of you actually brought it out into the light, what happened here, or you just decided to leave the situation totally behind and go something new or new offer came in. Now, King and Queen of Pentacles, Emperor and Empress, King and Queen of Swords. Wow. We all have major power couples here. Or this is just your energy of uh, really being in power now. Now we have the King of Pentacles again. Wow. So really <laughs> standing firm and tall like this tree here. Stable and grounded. Making your pentacles, making your money. Never having to worry for the long term. Celebrating success. Wow. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So, oh, my deck upside down here. So we do have the Ten of Cups. So total happiness, joy, and fulfillment in every single way. Happy home and family. Wow, the fool. Yeah, taking this offer, resetting at zero, taking a leap of faith, and jumping right in. Walking away from what was no longer serving you. Walking to something better. Fate, destiny, divine timing. Fortune coming your way. Fortune is coming your way. I feel feel like celebrating success in Wheels, Wheels Fortune. Celebrating the success of Wheels Fortune. I don't know, something like that. Wow. Divine timing, destiny. Things just getting better and better and better. And now we have the... Knight of Swords. It's going to happen very fast. Very fast. Again, that fiery, passionate King of Wands go-getter kind of energy. Going after it. So, you know, being at a crossroads, needing to make a decision if you're going to take it, but now you're totally committed to this journey here. The Hierophant. Some of you could be married uh, also to a soulmate, to Inflame, and maybe, you know, this is you going into partnership together, but you know, however this resonates for you, yeah, because we have death in the tower. So whatever happened here in the past was explosive. 
It was uh, fiery. It was um, not good energy, which caused the death, the end of the situation for you. But seven of wands, you know, not giving up. Keep fighting on because now we have a fiery, passionate new beginning here with the eights of wands. So, and I know I could keep going here. I'm going to stop at this point. So let's see. We have Scorpio. We have Eerie Scorpio. We have Taurus. We have Leo Sagittarius. Uh, Gemini Aquarius Libra Sagittarius. Um, Aquarius, <coughs> Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I mean, we basically have all the signs here. Libra, Taurus, Aries. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we have basically all the signs here. Libra. Uh, yeah, Virgo. So I feel like whatever choice decision you made was the right decision here, whether it was stepping up and like reporting a situation and maybe legal uh, activity had to get involved was the right thing to do or just moving on from the situation, accepting something new. <laughs> it's going to bring you so much growth, abundance, prosperity, long term for the future. It's like not even funny here. You're going to be like celebrating so much success and victory like wheels fortune wow all right so let's get some closing messages for you taurus yeah trust your intuition and i just did see the high priestess so trusting your gut your intuition your high you're knowing that whatever you needed to do here was the right thing to do or this could have been you like not saying anything about whatever happened because the high priestess doesn't say much and uh maybe it was you okay not saying anything but just moving on quietly so however that resonates for you. Okay. A few extra messages for Taurus. Let's get one more for Taurus. Miracle healing. So whatever happened here, if it affected you emotionally or whatever here, I do see healing. And like a miracle coming in for you. <laughs> And then we have higher consciousness. Again, trusting your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing, being divinely connected. We had all this um, divine energy coming in with all this sword energy also. And a lot of swords here. So this is almost like divine intervention here. Wow. So let's get a closing prayer or affirmation for you, Taurus. And I do say, Taurus, if you're new and you like uh, my style, how I read, please feel free to check out my channel. If you like what you see, feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You won't miss out. Right now, I do about four or five readings a month. Two love, two general bonus. I may be switching it up. But if you head on over to my community tab, I have two polls I would love everyone to vote on. It'd give me better clarity on what kind of readings you would like to see per month. And also, I've been thinking about doing extendeds on Vimeo. So if those are things you're interested in voting on, please head over and take part. And it would be greatly appreciated. So let's get a closing prayer affirmation for you, Taurus. Wow, okay. All right, I'm feeling this one. Reason why something always happens. So we have, blessed is she who has believed that the Lord would fulfill his promises to her. So just know, whatever is coming in for you is like divine intervention and like has been promised to you before you probably even came into this lifetime that all your dreams and wishes will be fulfilled here. So if you've had it rough going, like say all your life up to this point, and now you're in a situation or work or something, and then this happens and you're like, could things just get any worse? And then all of a sudden, either a new opportunity may come in here, or whatever you move on to is gonna bring you so much growth, abundance and prosperity for the future, more than you have before. Some of you may not be rich, some of you may be. So however that resonates for you, but you will be fulfilled here is what it's saying. Okay, Taurus, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.